You may have heard me say before that you should be always adding new tools to your e-learning tool belt. And uh, so an example of this in my own world is I've been playing around with 360 degree photography in anticipation that this is going to be something that's going to get used in e-learning. Um, I've made a purchase. I did some preliminary uh, videos before and I'll, I'll just put you a, a link up here to where I first experimented with some 360 degree photography. But I've made a purchase to something dedicated to uh, 360 de degree photography. It doesn't roll off the, the tongue, does it? What I was doing before was I was using um, Google Street View uh, to actually take a series of photos uh, and create a photosphere that was made up of, you know, maybe, I don't know, 20 different photos. And the resolution was great, but the problem was the stitching wasn't there. So I decided to uh, pick up a dedicated camera for uh, 360 degree ph uh, photography. This is the Insta360 Air. And let me just quickly unbox it here and I'll show you what, what's involved here. Uh, it's actually much smaller than I originally thought. Um, it's just a little tiny sphere like this here. And it comes with a rubber sort of cup holder, if you will. And once you remove that, it's just this little dual camera with a micro USB port on the bottom. And what you do is you take your smartphone and just insert this. Now, this is specific to Android, but there are other models that are appropriate for iPhones, um, and I suppose you could probably even get something for an iPad as well. So here we have uh, the, the camera's now been attached to the bottom. And all you really need to do is flip it upside down because most cameras will rotate the image. And then I can go around and, and film either video, which is a big plus with using a dedicated camera. Or I can just snap in one press uh, an, an entire 360 degree photo. So I'm going to take this out and uh, come back and share the results with you and let you know what I think. Okay guys, so I've come down to the waterfront in the community that uh, I live in and I just brought my Samsung Galaxy S7 with me. Uh, not the latest and greatest uh, camera or camera phone rather, but uh, certainly comparable to I think what most people would probably have. And we're going to be testing out the Insta360 Air and I brought it with me here so we'll be connecting that up to my camera and I'm going to take a few shots maybe a couple videos to see what the results are like. So I'm back and I've uploaded some samples to my Facebook account and to an alternate YouTube account and I'll just go through them with you here. I'll just kind of full screen this a bit so you can see um, you know, in this case here, I've just got a, a Facebook uh, post, and this is a photo I took at the Barrie waterfront uh, in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. And it's okay, actually. At first glance, it looks all right, but where, where it becomes problematic is that if you zoom in to anything in particular, you can see that the resolution just isn't there. This is a, a 3K camera. And a lot of the newer cameras are boasting 4K. So I think that might be a worthwhile upgrade, especially if you're thinking about uh, using it in e-learning in the future. You're obviously going to want to show details about the location of where you are. Uh, certainly if it's critical to the safety and the training of employees, uh, you know, you don't want something that's blurry or out of focus. Uh, so this is one example. I did some other stuff there. I should point out, let me go back to that shot there. Um, the nature of this camera, because it's held together with your smartphone, uh, and because you're holding your smartphone, uh, you're always going to end up in the shot um, in one way or another. As you can see here, I tried to hide myself by holding the camera way down low or way way up high and I was way down low but you know obviously you can't completely get rid of yourself uh, entirely. I had some success with this 
in this uh, example here where I, you know, I did have it on a selfie stick to hold the, the camera up, you know, and I was able to hide behind a tree. Uh, that's a little bit of me right there, actually. And, uh, you know, so I was able to get this shot. But again, as you can see, this is a beautiful location. There's ducks swimming in the pond. You wouldn't know it. They could be wooden ducks for all you know. Um, but, you know, it's a really beautiful spot. And unfortunately, the camera doesn't do it justice. Yeah, here's me again. Again, pretty much uh, that's the best you can hope for. Uh, but certainly if you're walking with the camera, uh, again here, I think what I'm doing here, yeah, I'm holding it above my head. So if you point the... Uh, point the 360 degree view down you will see the top of my head this is actually one of the better shots that that I took and and again you can see that clearly the resolution just isn't there uh, it's fine if you're just trying to create an environment that you know but again there's there's my arm and, and things like that so I don't know if it's a really great choice yeah this is a pretty standard shot here of me um, you know, typically what you would see, again, I'm using a selfie stick to just separate me from the, uh, the shot a little bit more. Um, there's some video here I shot and I put it up on my, my alternate YouTube channel. Uh, supposedly this camera has a, um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like a steady shot feature, a gyroscopic steady cam type feature. Uh, maybe I didn't activate it, but certainly, you know, I can scroll around and see all three, 360 degree view. Again, that quality is, is definitely an issue. Uh, I can see it very clearly in the sky that I'm getting anti-aliasing. Um, but also everything looks, you know, out of focus so whether the camera's uh, HD quality or not it doesn't seem to be recording at that level of quality uh, so and, and the the shakiness of it uh, I don't think is suitable so overall I would say that I think for e-learning you're gonna want a couple of things you're gonna first of all want really high resolution and it might mean that you have to pay a bit more money for the 360 degree camera uh, the other thing, too, is like features like the ability to uh, mount it on a tripod so that you can get out of the shot when the image is being taken, um, I think is beneficial as well. Because if you're creating, let's say, e-learning um, that includes, you know, a 360 degree shot of uh, an environment where employees may need to go and use some equipment or some technology, uh, you certainly don't want, um, you know, everything to be out of focus and uh, and certainly shaky like this if you're going to use video. So um, that's pretty much the experience I found. I think my decision with this particular camera is I'll be returning the 360, uh, the Insta360 Air and uh, and purchasing something different. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.